Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to American Outback. Today we're going to do a little bit of foraging over the forage harvester. This is a rental. Uh, we picked up the New Holland FR850. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is going to set it up on course play. I've already rigged this field, but it doesn't look like it because it's a small rig, but we did. So I'm going to set this guy up over there. And I'm gonna hop into this guy right here. And uh, we're gonna get some of this uh, chaff. And then what we're gonna do is, um, like we've been trying to do, or this is the eventual goal, is to make TMR in one of our bunkers. Uh, so we'll put the chaff down first, and I think what we'll do is we'll take it up to the cows. Wow, I didn't realize how far they were from here. Uh, we'll put it up, take it up to the cows and um, make some TMR. I guess it doesn't matter what we could do. Let me just double check here. Where is it? This is what I'm thinking. Can we just drop it over here? Uh, uh, yeah, so we can just make the TMR over here. Grass, straw, silage, forge. Yeah, so we can just make it over here. And um, do we even have bunkers at the main farm here? Probably not. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Okay, anyways, we'll just do what I... Planned on doing in the first place. Just thought I'd double check first. Alright, so I'm gonna put my mode into follow the combine speed mode. Which, of course, is done with drive control. And um, that is, uh, it's, you have the different modes for drive control, so I have it set up so it's following the same speed as the forge harvester. Uh, but you can also do it so it stops at 100%, stops at uh, 0%, and you can have it set so it uh, limits the throttle you use, which is more for, like, um, keyboards. Okay, guess I'll turn the other way then, because this guy doesn't want to give me the space to turn around. Are we going to have enough space? Just barely. Sheesh. Get some little forge harvesting done here. There we go. That should be a better pass with this. Oh yeah, much better. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to put it down, and then we'll put the potatoes on top. So we can do this this stage first, and then after this we will put the potatoes on top, and that should make TMR. Um, if we follow the uh, follow the, the, the correct formula, basically. So it's about a 60-40 split. 60% uh, chaff, 40% potatoes, if memory serves. Alright, let that guy turn. Hopefully not in his way. There we go. And... So if you're wondering where that New Holland comes from, that is the uh, New Holland uh, DLC. Uh, it's the New Holland Forge Pack DLC. And uh, that's where it comes from. So it's not... Not everybody's gonna have that one. Um, some people thought it was a bit expensive. Yeah, and it was, I guess it was kind of, but... It just depends what your fancy is. I don't know, I like it. Uh, came with, I guess, just the Forge Harvester, I guess, if memory serves? Yeah, I think it was just the Forge Harvester, nothing else. There we go. I'm just gonna drive forward and around this guy here. But it's a pretty good DLC. I don't know, it's one of my favorite ones to use. Uh, I think whenever I use Forge, use a Forge Harvester, it's the one I use. Um, just because I don't use it super, super often, but I like to use it when I, uh, when I have the chance sort of thing. In reality, you probably wouldn't use a forge wagon like this uh, to do this, but it works for my my purposes at least. Uh, you could theoretically use some other items that there that are out there, but this stuff definitely works really well. So, all right, very nice. I wonder how much we're gonna get off this. I thought we we're gonna get a lot more, but I guess we are not. Uh, we may. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It'll be curious to see what the actual final numbers are like because uh, I haven't done this in a small field with soy mod in a long time, so. Might have been more advantageous just to collect it, but I think I have the, because I have the BGA extension, or no, the far silo extension, uh, that's the reason why we're able to make TMR in the first place. If I just put this grass, if I just collected this grass and just put it in there, what would actually happen is um, it would just turn into dry grass in the end. Uh, which isn't very helpful for us, actually. 
so that's the reason why I don't just put it in there. Uh, if you if you don't have that mod, for example, you could just easily uh, you could just easily put it in there to make silage, but you wouldn't be able to make TMR in your bunker then. Why is our cow productivity so low? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, chickens, cows, 20%. Ah, they don't have any TMR. <laughs> that would do it. So because they don't have TMR, they have everything else, it looks like, but no TMR. So that's why their productivity is so low. Okay. I think we may have some TMR at, uh, at the cow location still uh, from the TMR mixer, but I am not sure. So what I'll do is I will take this over to the bunker and then that'll give me a chance to check out whether they have TMR there or not. We'll go from there. Street. I wonder if we're going to get a full... Uh, let's just see. Let's see how much we can get. Uh, we should be able to get this. I don't know if we'll do a whole windrow, but we'll be able to do some of it, that's for sure. Apparently it's not close enough for the uh, forge harvester to register it there. That's fine. I'll just back this up. There we go. Let's see how much we can get. Oh yeah, it'll fill up real quick here. There we go. So one of the nice things about uh, course play or having the hot combine on course play is it'll just stop once it's full. I think the hard worker does that too, actually. Um, I feel like that combine was really loud though. Being right beside it. Uh, trees. So what we're gonna do is take this up to the cow farm and put this up by the dairy cows, I think. It doesn't really matter which way we go in the end, as long as we get to the final destination. Which is fine, so. How have any have you tried to do this before? Make TMR with a far silo extension? I know some of you probably have, and some of you probably haven't. So let me know if you've tried or not. It's kind of like a I find like it's kind of touch and go sometimes. Like sometimes I'm able to do it really easily, other times I have a really hard time with it. And um I don't know what it is. It's just one of those things, I guess. But I know farmer bees can do it really easily. Well, I think he can do it really easily at least. In my mind he can. And uh, I uh, have never been very good at doing it, but I always like to try once in a while, so that's the reason why we're doing it here today, because um, I don't do it very often, and it's nice to have a big, large amount of TMR ready to go. And luckily, what we can also do with, um, uh, with this map is we can just put it in our uh, storage, and then we'll have lots of TMR stored there already. How's our moonshine maker doing? I think it needs something. I'm not sure what it is though. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. But I know they need something. That's always the that's always the thing with um, any of those kind of like objects that require you to refill it. As soon as you, like especially with I spy I find especially with soy mine, because you have to progress time so often. Um, it just feels like you constantly have to refill those things. Alright, where are we here? So here is the dairy cows. Whoops. And this is right here. Okay, good. So let's go here. I'm actually gonna need to back into this. That's gonna be interesting. Alright. And the other funny thing is gonna be actually compacting it. Now continue backing up because we need to have that nice and compact because if we don't have a compact it won't actually make uh, what you want it to make. There we go. I got the information. What are we looking at here? Uh, almost compact, 14%. Technically what I need is another tractor here just to compact this I think. Maybe we'll, so we'll do bring our tractor around. Uh, 100%. Total compaction is only at 27%, so we're missing some areas. I'm sure they're at the end there. Yeah, there they are. 
So for every little bit you put on there, you have to compact it. And I guess I... I need to bring another tractor around here. Do I have any tractors sitting around? This one is, kind of. And this one is. Okay, this one will work better. Alright. Let's take this. We'll put the... sprayer right here. I don't know why I wanted to do that first. There we go. And let's grab. We need to go up to the shop. Uh, are we driving past it? Oh, we can. Good. So let's go ahead and purchase a weight. It's a very special weight. Oh, I think it's a miscellaneous, actually. Uh, there it is. The silage plate. Very important. Because with a silage plate, you're able to spread out your silage so much nicer. So, so much nicer. Um, I make that turn. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you're able to do it so much easier uh, with that, so that's the reason why I like it. Uh, actually, I found that one from Farmer Beavis. Uh, he showed that one to me a while back. I think he did a mod, mod spotlight on it. Mod roundup, he calls him, sorry. On it a while back, and I was like, ooh, that's a pretty nice little mod. So I picked it up a while ago. It's called the rower silage, oh, rower silage plate. It's uh, pretty neat actually, because uh, what you can do with it, you can actually pick up silage and move it around if you need to as well, and you can add some pretty hefty weights on there. Apparently, it's safe to cross already. Not. All right, one second. Let me get a quick sip of coffee here. There we go. All right, so we're just going to stop at the shop because it's kind of on the way already and pick this up. We'll put it on the back. And what we can do is we can put some weight on the front of this. Uh, put 1,700 kilograms. Whoops. 1,700 kilograms in the front. There we go. And the shop is right here. Let's go ahead and pick up the weight, which should be on the other side here. And yes, there it is, perfect. Well, it looks like it fell over. All right, make the turn here. And we're gonna be able to pick that up, hopefully. Hopefully. Nope. Doesn't want to. Ah, uh... oh, did I not install that? Every time. Every time I want to use that mod, I never. The push mod is what I'm referring to. I think I downloaded it once and I just never installed it. So I'm going to have to do it this way then. Just bump it. There we go. No, no, no. Bump it so it's the other way around. Or not. I don't know if this is a common occurrence with this thing. But there we go. Can I open this door? That would be ideal if I could just, you know, open this door now. No, of course not. Alright, let's just push it slowly then. There we go. And let's attach it now, finally. Go forward a little bit and attach that guy. There we go. And I think it's Z to add extra weight. It is. And there we go. And so now we need to go to the dairy farm, which is this way. And now we can actually compact. Wait, ah, compact our weight, compact our <laughs> bunker. There we go, jeez. Alright, so there is the tractor right there. Perfect. Uh, let's just move into position here. Let's unfold the weight. And 
popping up the information here. The problem is we can't get we can't like detect the compaction levels at the back with that current tractor, so that's the reason why I brought this one over here. Yeah. And it's important to make sure each level is compact, because if you don't do that, then you're gonna have like a mix of silage and um, a mix of silage and other things. So the cool thing about this is if you want to, so like let's say, oh I have local compaction right here is kinda low. Let's go ahead and lower the back there. And then you can actually move it around if you want to. Like that. Now the problem is, is that I'm actually facing the wrong direction. For this to work properly. So I actually need to go drive forward into it and then move it around. Because the way it works is like when you move in the like when you're pushing against the blade, the actual plate itself, you'll you'll compact, you'll pick it up, and then if you start as soon as you move in the opposite direction, then you will uh, like drop it, so to speak. So like, you know, I'll give you an example. So if I drop this now, and then I move it, and then I go forward, it'll drop it where I picked it up from. So that's how it works. It's a pretty neat, neat little device, actually. It makes compacting these things a bit better. There we go. Compact that out. It's basically like a scenario where like if you need to use it you can move stuff around but I try not to just because sometimes I have a bad habit of leaving a huge a huge bunch right in the middle somewhere and then nothing else. There we go. Let's get that done. Compact that up. Nice. This is better now. 90 there we go, that's our last little bit there. There we go. Now let's hop into our tractor here and drop off the rest of the silage. Or I should say, just chaff at this point. There we go. Good. Let's make sure it's empty this time. There we go. Nice. Good. Let's head back to the main farm here. And let's get this rolling. I think what I might have to do is I may have to... Uh, I might have to set it up. Oh, we wanted to do the TMR first. Let's come over here. Grab some TMR. Move over here. And then we'll get that done. No, don't run into the tree. There we go. Because there is a TMR mix right over here, and it should have some left in it. I'm not sure how much the line do, but it should have some left in it. Uh, so we'll feed the cows there because it's important to have the cows fully fed because then you get the full benefit of <laughs> the milk production, of course. There we go. And as you can see, there's a little green ring on the ground there, and that's where you want to drop off your, or pick up, let's just say the TMR. Let's see how much we have here. Probably not a crazy amount. What is this thing missing anyways? Uh, let's check here. Uh, silage and hay, apparently. It's got lots of TMR, though. So that we should be able to feed our cows. Like, we have 250 cows, I think, now, is what we have. If memory serves... 150 cows, not 250. And uh, because of that, they eat a lot of TMR. Which is the reason why we're trying to make it in bulk, basically, so... Excellent. Over here, over here, and we'll give our cows as much TMR as they need. And I think we can actually put the rest in storage if we need to. 
There we go. And is it going to accept it there? No. I don't know why it does this, but it's only in this like one location that accepts it. There it goes. I don't know if it's going to take all of this TMR though. We'll see. I don't think it will. Well, maybe. 150 cows, it probably will. There we go. Very nice. Good. So I think what I'll do is I'll stop the episode there for now, or else I will uh, just keep doing chaff for a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll get the chaff rolling, and uh, hopefully we'll have that bunker filled by the time we come back next episode, and we'll be able to put some potatoes on it. All right, so that's it for me for today, folks. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this episode of American Outback. And if you do, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more American Outback. I'll catch you guys later.